Hello and welcome. I am Mr. Tegan and today we are taking a look at voice meter. This is the voice meter banana, which is the medium voice meter. It's one voice meter, voice meter banana, and then I think it's voice meter potato. And this is just a simple setup that works and separates your audio tracks into three different tracks or four. Uh, depending on its two digital or virtual inputs and two uh, virtual outputs. It's also three physical outputs. I only use two of those. And I only have one microphone. But the digital input and or virtual input and virtual output is very good for streamers and if you record for YouTube. So here you can see my microphone. So that is set here. You just choose your microphone. And if you have multiple microphones, you can set up to three in voice meter banana. And you can control the volume separately, which is awesome. And here you have voice meter vial and voice meter aux which you can send your audio to uh, through Windows. I have one of these set to my gaming audio and one for Discord, Spotify and Chrome, just so I can control the volume separately. So that is the voice meter. This is the output. You see A1 is my main. You want the main to be ASIO if you have any ASIO devices. And then MME is the second best, but uh, the quality often um, the quality often heightens the delay. So ASIO is separately because that deals with the delay itself, because it gets sent directly instead of Microsoft or Windows. Uh, trying to interpret the sound. So MME does have a little bit of a delay, but also does not. And when you go down to these ones, they do have very little delay, but the quality is very low. So try to use also if you have it's you should be fine. Either way. And then the second one, this is my monitor. So I can connect a headset to my monitor and I can watch together with someone or if we play something together, I have the option to send the audio out to both devices. And if you have more than that, you can have one more on this one or on the potato. I think it's five output devices. So yeah, let's just jump into the Streamlabs OBS. So here we have the stream uh, Streamlabs setup. So I have the microphone, which is the voice meter output. And let me just show you here. The output is here, virtual output, so B1. So this gets sent to B1. And if, if I deactivate this, then you won't hear me. But now you do. <laughs> so that is one of the out or yeah, that's the input or output. In this, it's the output cause yeah, that's the virtual output. And then these ones are inputs, but yeah, it's actually outputs or yeah. I think it's kind of reversed, but it's totally fine. It works. <laughs> Voice meter input. And this is VIO. And then this one is AUX VIO. So in that way, you can control the audio separately. 
which is so nice. On this cog right here, you can also choose to open advanced audio settings. And the stream is uh, set to one. So the streaming audio is all sent to one. And since the stream only can hear one audio track, you have to have all the audio going to one. And that is why you can, that is why you should set up it in this manner. So you can control your audio here. And if the stream is, don't like, I don't know, maybe a voice in the Discord is too low, you can just drag this one up. And now it's higher. So that's nice. But here we want, so if you are recording, you want to record separate tracks. So my microphone is only recorded on track two. Discord is recorded on track three and game sound is recorded on track four. I also have Spotify set to the same as Discord. So Spotify, Discord, and what else? I have Google Chrome as well on this one. So I'm just gonna start some music on my Spotify. So you see the Discord should go up and you will also hear it as well. So this is, this is stream beats. So it should be totally fine on YouTube. So yeah, there we have some audio and to be able to record this audio, you can also set it up here, audio recording and we're recording track two, three and four. And one last thing, when you have these ones separated, you also want to separate the audio going out. So here is the sound, window sound. You just right click here, open sound settings. That opens this window. The main is voice meter input and VIO, the non aux version. Oh, oh. <laughs> the main one is the VIO, non aux version. And so you just go down to this one, app, volume, device, preferences. And here you set voice meter aux uh, as output for Discord and Google Chrome and Spotify or whatever else you want to choose <laughs> to steer uh, it differently from the other ones. So yeah, the game sound should come up here because that is the main one as long as you don't change it. And Discord, Spotify, Chrome, whatever else you choose will come up here. And you have your microphone here. So then you can easily control them here. And you can also use voice meter if it's easier for you to stir them directly here. So this is the output for my headset and this is for my friend's headset or the screen. And yeah, this is the microphone. So you can also boost your microphone sound if it's too low. My brother had had that problem with his microphone. So we changed it here and it works perfectly. So yeah, that's it. I think that's, that covers the basic at least. So I hope this helped and if it did, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,